Hey everyone, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Hopefully this finds you well. Reason for this video is, well, first off, it's about them, Guana. Um, but the reason I want to do this video is I'm going to take you guys out, and this is to answer some questions about the awning, more specifically the Morpho 270 that I have here. Um, I did a video recently. Oh, let me get you in here. I did a video recently um, about the unboxing and everything. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to bring Trip around, make some room I'm up in the driveway right now. Um, bring around to the back part of the property and I am going to show you how easy it is for one person to set up the awning and show you some of the details about the awning and talk to you about that as well as maybe uh, some common uh, uh, misconceptions and such when it comes to the awnings and address a couple of the negatives that people kind of bring up in 270 degree awnings not just particularly this one but other companies as well so uh let's get started so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just get everything set situated here now of course trip is empty right now for the most part but um i kind of store the poles off to the side i i i put them in there so i am going to set the poles right there for right now and i'm going to show you some of the things first okay so what i'm gonna do is a tuck back here because it fits in that box if uh when you got it when i made that box anyhow um i have two different bags and i keep inside here basically because i throw everything in this so it's not bouncing around in the back of my truck but when i went out the last couple of times i take these out of this box i said excuse me i set them to the side so they're readily available this is for the awning this is for the wanaka tent so i'm gonna put that back in there I'm just going to set this out here and I'm going to show you guys what, again, what uh, they provide you with the Wanaka awning. And then I'm going to set it up and I'm going to go ahead and do it on real time. I'm not going to speed up the video. Now, granted, I've probably set this awning up probably six or seven times now at the making of this video. Um, so I haven't done it too many times, but I just basically, I don't know, what you guys see. So uh, let me get this uh, unbagged here for you. Okay, so here's the bag, and uh, what you're going to see automatically is a lot of stuff. Now, first and foremost, I, I touched on it a little bit in the video, but look at the stakes in this. This is a quarter inch, and these are really good heavy-duty steel stakes. Really pleased with that, and they give you eight. The reason why they give you eight is because there's four poles, and then there's four more sections between each pole that you can tie down. That's why they also give you eight guidelines. Now, I, you'll see I have some of these. Uh, these I did not use. I have not used the ones that go in between the poles. I've only used the ones for the poles. Now, what I did is for the poles to expedite setting it up and taking it down, I went ahead and I put a little knot at the end just like this. So this way, it was easier to loop over the top of the, uh, the tip of the pole. And you'll see why in a second after I set it all up. But that's basically what it is. It's just that little little knot right there that you could drape over you know, tie over that the other thing i got was this and now there's a whole bunch of them and uh, um, i had a couple of different options but this one seems to work the best i got this from lowe's it's some little bungee with a ball on it as you can see i bought a four pack i think or a six pack i don't know it, they were they were inexpensive you can get them off amazon and stuff too but i bought one of these and you'll see why i have this in a moment so i'm gonna go set you guys up and let's get this started okay everybody so again I'm sorry if you want to fast forward this through you can but this is more particular about people complaining about the time that it takes to set one of these up and what it takes to set it up so i want to share this in real time what it's going to be like so let's get started
Okay, now as you guys see, that's set up. Now, I just realized I didn't take the hammer out of the box when I was talking to you and got everything else out. So uh, I'm just gonna push it through. My ground is pretty soft over here, but I wanna hook a couple of these up just to show you guys what it means to do this and why it saves time. Okay, so there we go. There you have it. Well, one of the things I want to touch on is, again, why I do those loops. That's why I do that. I can just hook it right on top of that, and then it secures it really good. Then once the stakes are in, you just draw the guideline and tighten that up. Now, of course, I didn't have my hammer, so I had to hammer those in. If you guys want to say that, it'll take another 30 seconds to hammer some of them in. That's great, but... Uh, um, you know, it is what it is. This is the other tie down point I wanted to touch on. This here, there's one here, there's one right here, there's one over here, as you can see, and there's one right over here. There we go. Now there's also one right here, and now this is what that cord, the little bungee cord I was talking about does. And it connects right here. That's what that's for is so I can connect and draw tension on the arm as I bring it across. Okay, good. So um, with that being said, some people have talked about other um, 270 degree awnings not being a true 270 degrees. Well, I guess if, if maybe if the awning sits too far forward on your vehicle, then it doesn't allow it to come all the way around. Maybe that's it. Uh, maybe it's the hinge system. Maybe it's something about the the black cover that you flip over. Maybe that gets in the way of the hinges um, I am not a bird and nor do I have a drone, but that's a pretty darn close uh, View of 270 degrees now if it's not that tight, maybe it's 200 and, or 265 to 270 270 degrees if it's a 268 or 269 Come on, I'm not going to harp on that. But uh, are you, are you going to be that bitter about that? But uh, anyhow, uh, as you'll see here, uh, I mentioned it in the last video. It pops up. Everything works out good right there. Nothing interferes with this. Uh, my lift gate on the canopy doesn't go up much higher than that. And it hits this. It stops. There's no undue pressure. So I see no problems with that anytime soon. It doesn't strike with any force. So I don't see any wearing taking place along this 
This is the canvas material right here. You'll see that they seamed and they waterproof and they seam. All the seams are double stitched right here. This corner here is reinforced. I wish I knew what that was, uh, but a reinforcement, it's like a, a rubbery vinyl. Uh, so this corner is, uh, of course, reinforced because of these hinges. What's also nice is these hinges are all put together in here. Those are all stainless steel uh, nuts and bolts right there. And hopefully you guys are just seeing it. I had the camera flipped around. Uh, all stainless steel hardware right here. It's flat plate stainless steel, uh, nuts and bolts stainless steel, aluminum, everything else. This is like a rubber PVC type membrane that's protecting all the hinge area for wear, I would think. That's why they would want to do more support to that. Um, this is the part where I thought maybe some people were saying that maybe this was in the way of the hinge, or you can see how this part right here hinges over and bumps up against this. Maybe if this hinge, this part right here was straighter, if you can, if I can see that properly, see this part here, if this hinge, if instead of being at an angle like this, it was out here a little bit more, this would allow this to be much more of a, a perfect angle. That's easily corrected by setting it up properly and keeping an eye on that. But the angle on this, I don't see it being that off. I don't see it being a problem. I don't know how much more tighter you can get to this unless you want to try to slide your awning over one way or the other. Uh, again, I, I think it's okay. Um, I'm gonna set you guys up here and talk about the poles. Okay, one thing I've heard a lot of people complain about with a lot of the 270 degree awnings, as well as just the, the six and a half or eight foot by something awnings that go square, um, and that's the poles. Now, I don't have any experience in this stuff, gang. I've, this was my first awning. And that's why I was really kind of taken back by people complaining about a lot of things because of the fact that um, I've never had one before. So one of the things is they, they complain about is these poles like this. Now there are a couple of companies out there that have a different connector on these. And oh, I scratched myself. Um, they have a different connector on some of their poles or how they twist. Um, these can be a little particular, you know, I, as I'm holding it, I am going to twist the bottom clockwise and the top counterclockwise, and that loosens this, and then I can squeeze it and press it uh, closed. Um, on these, you'll see that little hole right there, a dimple. That's actually an, an air vent right there and there. And when I go to close this, air kind of squirts out of that. Um, these close down to this. This is, I mean, it's probably four and a half feet high, four feet high. So they're really good and compact. They stretch out pretty darn long too. Uh, I'm you know, in my boots right now, I'm six foot and it's at least seven feet high. Uh, so I would think that this would cover a good variety of vehicle heights. Um, as you know, I got trip here and I did a suspension lift on it and I stretched these out to probably six and a half feet or six foot four. And uh, it works out great. Take in mind, it can take into consideration if it's raining, you're gonna probably want that awning to be pitched a little bit more to help deflect some of that rain and have it run off away from the truck or your vehicle rather than towards the truck. So so there is that. Um, uh, again, they got this little point right here and this, this actually goes in through the arms. Um, you know, it's like a wing and in the wing there's the fabric and then there's the bone that supports the wing. Well, at the end of every one of these arms, uh, there's a hole that this will actually go into and then there's a grommet a brass grommet That's in the top of the awning that this will also go up into so that allows you to take the loop of your rope and Drop it over the end that secures both the pole pressing forward down forward motion or pressure down on the ground Keeping your 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 pole in place as well as keeping the fabric of your awning in place, too. So that helps. Um, I don't know how long it just took me to do that. You guys will have to be the judge of that. I did not time lapse it. You saw me stumbling, you saw me doing it. I was actually, my, my fingers are so smooth right now from sanding and doing stuff in the shop. I was grabbing that fabric and it kept slipping out of my fingers. But um, again, I, I'm, you know, I show you little bits and pieces here about the stitching and, and, and how it's all put together. Uh, they do have Velcro on the inside. I mentioned it in the last video. I think they're gonna come out with the walls next year for 2020. I don't know if it's gonna, I think it's gonna be individual panels or you know, that might connect to the poles. I haven't seen all the paperwork or anything yet. So I'm just kind of getting enough guesses from little conversations here and there. 
but uh, I'm looking forward to the walls myself, at least a couple of them, because it'd be really good for sun breaks, let alone wind breaks if you're cooking and preparing things. And here in the PNW, it, even if it, in the wintertime it can get windy and the rains come, I can drop these down a little bit, put those walls on at least two spots, and it'll help keep me from getting wet while I'm cooking, you know, preparing breakfasts and dinners and such. So. So hopefully it was uh, helpful for you. Again, I'm gonna have codes down below uh, for an awning and a rooftop tent. Uh, it's good for all their tents and their awnings. If you just jump on gowaniequipment.com, the link will be down below as well as just right here as I'm talking. And you use the promo code or discount code CK Knife Awning, CK Knife RTT for rooftop tent. That'll get you a discount and it also helps support CK Knife and Tool. Uh, Guana has been great. Those guys are very, very good at returning uh, emails. Uh, so if you do have a question or a concern, email them. They'll get back to you. Uh, it's, I think one's in California, one's in Florida. So maybe at some point someone's going to cross over and be able to answer all your questions, maybe even better than I can. So without that, without anything further, I do appreciate it, guys. Hopefully this was more helpful and showed you a little bit more detail about the Morpho 270 found on GuanaEquipment.com. It's a mouthful. Anyways, you guys take it easy. Remember, like, share, subscribe, all the good stuff. Keep me from the bottom of the YouTube bucket. Now I'm going to clean up and get into the house. Actually, no, I got to clean up and get down to the shop. I got another knife to make. You guys take it easy.